Today also I am ready to teach a new lesson. What is it? It's the fraction. The fraction lesson related to the grade 7. Let's go it. What are the fractions? I think you learn about the fractions in the grade 6 also. The fractions have the two numbers. The two numbers, there is a special two names. The number below the line is the name the denominator. And also, the number above the line is the numerator. Numerator and the denominator. Okay, now let's go. What are the types of the fractions? I think 1, 2, 3, 4. The types, 4 types of fractions in here. First one is the unit fractions. Did you learn that in grade 6? What is the special features of that? The all the numerator number is the 1. We call that the number, the numerator of the fraction is equal to 1. That is the unit fraction. 1 upon 5, 1 upon 6, 1 upon 7 and 1 upon 10. Are the examples for the unit fraction. Go to the next one. It's the proper fraction. What are the special features of the proper fractions? The special one is, look at, check these two numbers. The numerator less than 2 denominator. This one also. 1 is less than 2. 4 is less than 7. This is the special features of the proper fraction. What is it? Numerator less than 2 denominator. What are the other ones? I think improper fractions and the mixed number. These two fractions we learn in the grade 7. Okay, let's go in. What is the mixed number? Okay, mixed number. What is the mixed number? Mixed number, mix it, join it. The, there is a two figures represented in the whiteboard. Then the figure, this circle is colored, it's whole one. And this one divided by the three parts and colored two parts. Okay, the figure is one, it's colored. I can represent it like this one, one circle in here. That figure divided to three equal parts, two is colored. It can be written as the fractions two upon three. The added two number and the fraction created to 1 addition 2 upon 3. Can we add it in like this? 1 and 2 upon 3. 1 is the whole number. 2 third is the fraction. Join in these two. Mix in these two. Created what is it? This is the mixed number. Joining whole number and fraction created the mixed number. Go through the second example. It's a rectangular shape. First one. The second one, the same size, divided into four equal parts. One is the color. Then, the figure represented one in here. And, this one divided by the four parts. It can be written as the fractions one upon four. 1 and 1 upon 4. Add in these two. Whole number and the fractions. 1 and 1 upon 4. This is the whole number. And this is the fraction. We call two whole number and the fractions. What is it? It is the mixed number. Mixed number. Joining or mixing. Whole number and the fractions created to, what is it? Mixed number. Let us go to, what is the improper fraction? Now, what is the improper fraction? The two figures represented it. The first one is whole figure colored as. The second one divided into four parts and one is the color. Okay, now we know that. This figure represented in mixed number. How to write this? The, this one represented 1. And this one 1 upon 4. Considering second figure, it's divided by the 4 equal parts. Then, this figure also can be divided into 4 equal parts. Okay, look at it. I will divide it like that. 1, 
two, three, four. This one also divided to equal four parts. Then how many parts in color? In here, one upon four. And this one, the same one, one upon four. And this one, one upon four. And this one also, one upon four. And the second picture also having one upon four. We are adding these five fractions. One, two, three, four, five. Adding all the fractions. The all the denominators is equal to four. How many ones in here? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, five is coming to the numerator. What is the special one then? Five is greater than to new. Five is greater than to denominator number four. Then, but this is the special features of the improper fractions. When the improper fractions, numerator greater than to denominator. Five upon four. I will write another example. Example 3 upon 2. Numerator greater than 2 denominator. Another one. 7. What is the number? 5. 7 is greater than 5. The numerator greater than 5. Another example, 30 and 4. 30 is the numerator. It is greater than to denominator. We call that fraction, what type of fraction? It is the improper fraction. Improper fraction. Now, you learn that the two types of new fractions. One is the improper fraction. What is another one? Mix number. The mix number. Mixing the two numbers. Whole number and the fraction is the mix number. Okay. Now let us go the let new one. Let's do the simple question. What is it? When I am given that, select the improper fraction and the mix number is given below. The box having lot of fractions divided into Two one in proper fractions and the mixed number. Do you remember that? I think what is the improper fraction? Improper fraction is the numerator greater than to denominator. What are the numbers in here? Here two not greater than three, one not greater than five, and here this is the two numbers. Yes, whole number and the fraction. It goes to what type is mixed number? Whole number and the fraction, two and half is the mixed number. Next, three, two. Numerator is the three. Three is the greater than to two. It is the improper fraction. Four upon five. Four is less than to five. It's not improper. Then, joining the two numbers, whole number and the fraction, five and one third is the mixed number. The next one, 17 upon 8. 17 is the numerator is greater than to 8. Therefore, it goes to the improper fractions column. Next, 5 upon 2. 5 is numerator. It is greater than to denominator. This one also improper, 5 upon 2. The last one, 4 and 2 third. 4 and 2 third are getting to 2 numbers. Yes, these are the mixed numbers. Three mixed numbers and the three improper fractions. Okay, let's go. What are the next part of our lesson? Today, I was discuss the four types of fractions. What are they? First one is the improper fractions. Another one, unique fractions. And the improper fractions. And the mixed numbers. Do you remember that? I think you have good remember. Okay. In the next lesson, next day, we continue the fraction lesson also. 
now thank you for joining me please subscribe our channel maths college and click the bell icon also goodbye have a good future